What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to an old friend, Shiba Inu, uh, which I wanted to cover again today because I have some, uh, I, I wanted to talk about it with you as well a little bit and we just wanted to give you my thoughts on that because uh, Shiba Inu has been, has been performing very, very poor ever since basically that rally we had of Shibarium and that was the beginning of February. And since then, if you actually zoom out, we have dropped down like that, that very top is right here, the 5th of February. And since then we have dropped down at the very lowest, 65%. So that's in a matter of, well, what is it? Four months. So that's obviously been, been very, very bearish. Last week was very tough for us as well. We were consolidating on top of this level right here at around, I always name the prices like this, like 840, which was fine when we were consolidating there. But before that, we were also bearish. I mean, basically throughout the whole period of time when Pepe was very bullish, Shiba Inu also got no bullish momentum. So that raises the question, well, is, is, is it over for Shiba Inu? Because we also got no bullish momentum when we had the uh, metaverse update on the on the rocket pond and we got some 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 inside looks so it looks like currently like it, i would say it's factual to say that it's dying does that mean it's dead and that it will keep dying no uh, but there are definitely some things we we need to talk about so that's what we'll talk about in this video and before we dive into that if you want to receive daily trading signals from me check out the links down in the description or the pinned comments there you'll find instructions on how to join but now on to shiba we'll start with the technicals after that bearish momentum we had on saturday we actually dropped down quite a bit um shiba inu was one of the one of the biggest losers i think of that whole drop we dropped down 32 percent which is absolutely crazy um, but yeah, I mean, we, we had a bit, it was probably a little bit of a little bit of a long squeeze, right? So I think a lot of people went, bought from this area, which was technically a strong level. And then when it got through that, all of their stop losses hit and, and it just dropped down and dropped down because this is, if you also take a look at it, it's a very strong level. And I'm actually going to put it on the chart as well, because this is the main level we need to bre break if we actually want to get more bullish with Shiba which is a possibility. I mean, right now we have recovered quite a bit from that bottom. And the main, uh, there are two main levels which we're, which we're struggling with right now. And I'm actually going to, going to draw a fib here on the chart. So we can actually see that a little bit better. We broke above the, the, the 0 0.382 fib, but right now we're struggling mostly with this level right here. So that's not even the main level around 750. It's this level right here around 700, which is also a psychological level. So what we're going to do, I think, is that we're going to test that level. So on the short term, I think we'll, we'll get some bullish momentum. But then whether we can break above that or not is the big question. I would say we would need to break above that before Friday, right? If we can do that, so if we can break above 700, then I think we can get up to 750. And, there we, and, and then we have some sort of a solid consolidation area from which we can actually stabilize and, st be, and, and stabilizing. Right now is actually key, I think, for Shiba Inu. But apart from that, I mean, something like this, we have a lot of news coming up, and that's why it's definitely possible to break above 700. But if for some reason before Friday, because Friday momentum usually gets out of the market, we haven't broken above that 700 level yet, so we've gotten to it, but we've found, found resistance there, and then I think it's more likely that we'll just drop down towards this level around 600 and consolidate down here. I don't think we'll get back to this level right here. I think that spike was was it for now um but yeah i, I mean if i do think we'll, we'll drop down a bit lower and just consolidate if we do not get that bullish breakout above 700 um and at this point in time i really don't know if that's the most likely scenario we'll have to wait it depends a lot on what bitcoin does as well so this is my full analysis on what i think can happen to shiba inu but what's going to happen we'll still have to get some confirmation for as well so for now thank you for watching Take care and bye.